Hello everyone, welcome back to Hate Plus. God, I'm so excited every time I, well, almost every time I come back to Hate Plus. Except that one day when I came back after Mute had just discovered what happened. In that case, it wasn't, I wasn't so much excited as anxious. But, most of the time I'm just really glad to come back for a new day. So yeah, let's continue with day two of the male harem route. Oh, Hyunae and Mute. You guys haven't torn each other's virtual throats out yet, have you? Hi. Hello? Okay, fine, Hyunae. You can tell him that, but after that, we're getting back to reading. T tell me what? Thank you. Uh, hi, Mr. Investigator. Hello, Hyunae. So, uh, you know how it's traditional to wear a new handbook to bring in the new year, right? Okay, yeah, it was on day... two. Yeah, it was the beginning of this day where, when I was playing with just Hyane, she brought out her handbook. Is she gonna do it again? Well, I thought I'd design a new one for me. I'm really proud of it. I tried to convince Mute to let me make her a new one too, but she wouldn't let me. I won't, have, I won't have you dressing me up, okay? I don't trust your taste. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Mute would want any dress from Hyunae. Nope. Besides, I already just changed anyway. This outfit has a lot of sentimental value to me, okay? Just think of it as being my new handbok. Well, I do think it's cute. Especially the hair. Okay, okay, can we just get back to serious business now? All this cosplay stuff kind of ruins the mood. Like, what's even the point of bringing it up in the middle of serious history? It's so pointless. Mute, it is not pointless. The point of it is, it's freaking adorable and wonderful and cute and awesome. That's the point of it. Jeez, it's not pointless at all. Exactly! It's something I really enjoy doing. Besides, isn't sea mistressing something that women are supposed to like, even according to you? That's a good point, Yane. Well, sure, but it's still just pandering, no matter how you try to justify it. Well, jeez, maybe I like to pander a little. What do you think? You don't mind me having fun pandering to you a little, Mr. Investigator, right? Nope. Of course not. As long as you're having fun. <laughs> great. Okay, fine. Whatever. I don't care. But please, can we get back to reading now? I want to find out what happened, okay? If you want to be frivolous on the side, whatever, but can we not keep wasting time? Very well. But I think you should switch me over to that new handbook first. I think you'll like it. Oh, I already know I'll like it because I've already seen it. That thing is beautiful. Alright, let's switch over. God, it's beautiful. It almost looks more beautiful com contrasted with the uh, the new color of the background. Because before, when I first switched her over to it, when it was just the Hyunae route, it was just a blue background, so it kind of blended in a bit. But now contrasted with this, like, pinkish purple. Or maroon, whatever you call this color. I think it looks even better. Okay. No new messages. Let's extract some. Extract new messages. Alright, what... What was I on? You know, I think I actually like... I think I actually like this color scheme the most. Sometimes it kind of burns my retinas a little bit, like when I mouse over one of these, the white combined with the pink is a little bit painful, but... I think this color scheme is by far the cutest. Makes me think of like Hello Kitty or something. Alright, so yeah, what was I on? M2? Or M4? No, I was on M2, yep. Yep, 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 alright. That's the next M2. Oh, whoa, wait, there's more M1? Did I miss those? All right. Hate the mornings after two. That boy. 
about you and the mirror. I make everything worse. How and the most extravagant bribery. Oh yes, so it's at, the, it's at the end of this day that Mute is going to read The Death of Old Mute. But this time with Yane. That should be interesting. To say the least. I'm interested to see how that works out. Oh, that's bad. Yes, it was bad from the start. No, it, uh, it was actually pretty good from the start, Mute. It just turned bad. See, this is why it doesn't make sense for women to... Oh, it disappeared. I scrolled too fast. Wait, but I thought it was Ai Chong who played the man's role. Huh? What does that even mean? I, I know, what the hell does that even mean? The man's role, what are you even talking about? I mean, obviously it's something sexist, but... As for exactly what she means... If I'm... Who the hell knows? I shouldn't be reading this. You know, this background music is really groovy. Okay, I don't think I did a very good job, but still, it's really groovy. I've really, I feel really sad for her, though. How is that supposed to be innocent? <laughs> Wait, how is what supposed to be innocent? I'm uh, not exactly sure what she's talking about. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, where I can only rarely see my love, where the holder of that innocent smile speaks of naive dreams of living together. How's <laughs> that supposed to be innocent? Mute. Relax. Relax. Calm down, Mute. It's okay. Bum, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Reminds me of someone I knew. Fuck, 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 everything hangovers suck. Aww. <laughs> it's, it's rare when they actually both have the same reaction to something. What's that? Ah, it's kind of... It's a kind of cooking from Earth. It's really good. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the hell Western-style food even is. I don't know what that is. I, I honestly don't. I don't know anything about cuisines, really. Like, what constitutes Western food? Wow, is that kind of problem with literacy normal? Oh, never mind. Never mind what? Whoa. Oh yeah, this is that part. Um, I want you to invite me in. I don't remember what happened between the doorway and my bedroom. I guess we must have managed to sneak past my father and his dramas. And yeah. <laughs> uh. This makes for saucy reading. What a weird relationship. But sort of, <laughs> but sort of romantic. And then Mute says, "What?" <laughs> uh. Ah yes, the mirror, the cruel trick. That's how men are, dear. That I based on what I read, I pr I'm pretty sure Hyo Song Bok was like the only one that really cursed regularly. I don't really think. Oh, god damn it! Fine, I won't say anything. Ah, now I've missed it. Totally is. I really wish I knew exactly what she was commenting on. Because I have to read a bunch just to figure out what she's talking about. 
Eh, I'm sure it's not too important. Not for this. I don't get it. It's okay, you're a girl. You don't have to. <laughs> Seriously, Mute? <sighs> Xiong Bok, you idiot. Yeah, I was being a bit silly there. Should have known your classics. <laughs> See? It's important to be well read. Yes, it is. I don't get the relation at all. That's just how love affairs are with men. God, I just love this part. There's no such thing as someone who had love in the way I love you. Am I perfectly clear? Once again, I already looked at that before, but just to read that and then look at the picture and see them together is just so cute. Uh. Of course, we know that their relationship probably ended when Mimi had to marry a woman that he didn't care for at all, just for the money. And that's the last we read about the relationship, so that was probably the end of it. But hey, at least right here it's happy. Uh, do you think maybe we could talk? Sure. So, um, this is kind of embarrassing to bring up. Well, oh, the music really changed. Alright, what is it? But that's not going to stop you, is it? Well, all these people sure seem to talk about sex a lot, don't they? Oh, this <laughs> this discussion should be interesting with Mute overhearing the whole thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you're a man. It's not weird for you, but like... Don't you think it's pretty embarrassing for all these women to be talking about it too? No? Uh, well... If you say so. Clearly he does. I don't really get what would compel women to be so fixated on something like that. Well, you haven't ever... Wait, what do you mean by that? Well, you haven't ever... Fixated on something like that. Well, you haven't ever... But do you think maybe that's something uh, you'd like to talk about? I think I'm just basically going the same route that I was before when we talk about this. But yeah, I guess I'll just do the same thing and see how see how Mute uh, reacts. Uh, only if you want to. Uh, well, I mean... Would you stop stammering and admit it already? <laughs> Fine, I do. I just find it really surprising that everyone pre-Year Zero talks about that so directly. Plus, reading about Xiong Bok and Mimi is just so different from what uh, that sort of thing was like for me. It's really intense sounding. Well, they're men, so what would you expect? Uh, well, it's... Never mind. I just feel like, uh... Yes? Jeez, oh, I'm sorry, I can't say it. It's just too embarrassing. Forget I said anything, let's just go back to reading together. No, this embarrassing... I... What, what is that word? I have no idea what that word means. Sunder? S sunder? I th it's probably pronounced sunder. What the heck does that mean? T. Sundere. Hold on, I'm gonna look up this word. I have no idea what that means. Literally none. Like, not even a hunch. Torn asunder is the only thing I can think of, but that's not even related because it's not even spelled anything like it. Define... How is it spelled? No, not that. T. Sundere. T. Sundere. What does that mean? It's from Wikipedia. It's a Japanese character development process which describes a person who is initially cold and even hostile towards another person before gradually showing their warm side over time. The word is derived from the terms... Uh, wait, what's kind of... Meaning to turn away and... Wait, what? Okay, so in context, that means... Okay, I think I get it. I'm hoping it's pronounced Sunder. This embarrassing Sunder act needs to stop, like, right now. Say what you were thinking. 
I can't, it's too embarrassing. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Mr. Investigator? Should she get off the should she get off the hook for wasting your time like that? She did she didn't waste my time. I am curious what she was going to say though, because I'm pretty sure she never told me originally, right? I don't think did she ever say it? But I'm not gonna be a dick to her. It's up to you. <laughs> it is not up to you, Mute. I don't want to leave much of anything up to you. At least when it comes to Hyun A. Hmm. I'm kind of curious, but I don't want to be a dick, so it's fine. Ah, <sighs> okay. Looks like you're off the hook this time, Hyun A, but don't do that again. Mute, stop bossing Hyun A around, please. I'm sorry. Thanks, Mr. Investigator, for understanding. Right, let's get back to work with no more of this nonsense, okay? Unread message. Right, lay over on Earth. Uh, did I finish reading the documents that I have? I don't think I did. Aren't there more? Yeah, there's three more. I make everything worse. <sighs> Please raise your standards, Yane. Oh, bullshit, Mute. It is poetic. Look, I fear that I may only be causing my cute little flower, Chana, to wilt. That is so poetic. Canned tea? Yeah, you get it from a vending machine, and it can be either hot or cold. It's really good. Oh, finally, her parents take some responsibility in getting her married. See, this is why that kind of relationship isn't just harmless. But... It'd be much easier for her if she was more reasonable about it. But wouldn't it be better if they could just fall, just be in love? Absolutely it would! Ah yes, that again. What monster taught these women to expect love to come before marriage instead of after? And once again mute, I say fuck you. Yep, yeah, that's Chenna after she's been basically kind of betrayed in a way because I Chong took the I Chong took the patron, but Chenna said no to the marriage. Didn't she realize this was bound to happen? It's a generous offer. Chenna needs to be more rational, but she's in love. This is painful. We can agree on that. Could they actually agree on something? Oh, it's like the third thing they've ever agreed on in, the <laughs> in this playthrough, basically. But I Chong did the right thing. How can she be so unappreciative of that? Ah, yes, the bribery. That's the first Emperor's brother they're talking about. I guess she ended up working as a courtesan then. Yep, I Chong. That sucks for her. Yeah, for once you're right. But it's the best possibility, considering. <sighs> once an actor turned into a courtesan. Oh, she kept the hairpin. Oh, God, I don't even want to think about the hairpin. It just... It breaks my heart to even think about her keeping that hairpin. <sighs> don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. Well, I guess it ended well for everyone at least, even if there was heartbreak. I don't know, it just really makes me feel sad. Yeah. And once again, Mute, no, it did not end well for everyone, not even close. Alright, let's grab some more. Oh, 
Alright, I think I was on M2, right? M2, 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 M2. I guess I'm done with M2. Alright, M3. I don't think there is an M3, so M4. Oh, yes. The Records Office Acts and Amendments and that boring stuff. Alright, let's just get through it. All of that is from the Records Office. Oh, God. Kill me now. Maybe with both of them together, maybe they can explain to me what the hell the Nobility Stipend Act is about, because I've never understood that. I don't get how it's relevant to anything. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Alright, top down. Old Mute was so rude. Yes, she was. In a kind of awesome way. Wait, Queen Oyana? She was an official before? Oh, of course Yana would want to improve literacy. So she's the reason why I couldn't understand what everyone wrote. Yep. Well, mute back then was really harsh. Yeah, like, I respect that, but what a cold maneuver. Yeah, see, old mute was kind of... Well, I mean, she wasn't kind of badass. She was a badass. I mean, God, just look at her. And I respected her in many ways, but it's things like this that keep me from totally liking her. How she was before. Stuff like, in case you haven't noticed, we have a serious problem with overeducated peasants already. Yeah. She was worried about the peasants when she should have been worrying about the nobles. I can't deal with how rude she is, though. So this is the result of old mutes conspiring. Ah, right, with Smith and So Young. Wow, I always thought politics would be more civil. It should be. Like all this uncivilized bickering, it's not right. It is a mess, that's for sure. Wow. 1600 years is such a long time. She seems to bring up rage a lot, though. So Old Mute named the new chief counselor that easily? And that was a problem even in the best? Yep. A serious demographic problem. Birth rate shipwide have been declining for years. If only they had listened to Kim So Yi. Ah. <sighs> if only they had listened to Kim So Yi. She solved the cause of the birth rate problems radiation. If only they had listened. Well, actually, I guess it'd be worse without marriage being respected, huh? I don't really get it. <laughs> um, you just went from looking very satisfied with what she's reading to very worried. Even if you knew he was wrong? Uh, like... If I thought he was wrong, I would try to understand what my misunderstanding was. That's the mature thing to do, okay?
Wait a minute. Which is, so she's saying if he think, if she thought he was wrong, she would try to understand what my misunderstanding was. So she's assuming that if she's wrong, it's her fault and it's her misunderstanding. And it's not actually the case that she's right. Ah, mute. Just half the stuff she says, I can only sigh to it. Just... <sighs> but, like, I guess it went through in the end, right? Yes, it did. And it's not a good thing. There's something I want to talk about, okay? Sure. So, uh, hey, Mr. Investigator. Do you mind if I asked Hyane a few things? Is that okay with you? Go to bed? It's none of my business. Okay, thanks. What's this about? Uh, well... <laughs> Whoa, she's angry. <laughs> what? She's... What the hell just went through her head? She's being re... Oh, wait. Oh, is she talking and I couldn't hear them? Oh, yeah. She's being really mean. Please, can you tell her to be less mean to me? <laughs> As... Uh, they're... It's not really any of my business, but... Stop fighting, both of you. Sorry. But look. Okay, she didn't seem particularly angry there. That's good. Uh, hey, Mr. Investigator. You don't think it's appropriate for women to write down dirty thoughts, right? <laughs> Only if it's about me. <laughs> That is such a weird thing to say. It's fine. Of course, she's not going to think so, but... Well, okay. But I think you'd change your mind if you knew what some of them were. I don't think so. Please, can we just not talk about this? I'm sorry. Don't embarrass me in front of a rescuer like this. Jeez. It was a, a long time ago, and I was really lonely. Wait a minute. Wait, did Hyane write some... Did Mute find something that Hyane wrote? What did she write? When? I wouldn't write things like that now. <laughs> was she entertaining herself in the, what was it, like the 600 years that she was alone? Can we, please move, can we please move on? Come on, Mute. You're the one who wanted to read about what happened pre-Year Zero. Let's get back to it, please. Okay, okay, fine. As long as we're not reading more women writing about unladylike sex fantasies in explicit detail. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind reading that, Mute. Ah, jeez, let's just get back to it, please. <laughs> God, these two are amazing together, aren't they? Wouldn't they make a great couple? Mute and Hyane. They would make a... They, okay, they'd be a terrible couple. Ah, uh, yes, and that is the chain mail again. Chain mail. Chain email. Okay. Can you two please explain what the hell the Nobility Stipend Amendment is about? I've never understood it. What the frick does it mean? Maybe I should read it again. How long is it? Let's read a part of it. It's just filling in the loophole in how the Nobility Stipend is distributed. Okay, this is the entire text of the amendment. The Nobility Stipend will only be distributed by patrilineal family lines as officially registered and not paid twice to married couples. I can't recall seeing any report on this ever. 
Is it really a widespread problem? Why would it be any different? Exactly what? Okay, I don't, I don't understand what's noteworthy about this. I'm glad it's not just me. I'm glad it's not just me. That, that makes three of us. What the freak does this... How does this matter at all? There's either something I'm not getting about it, and it's something that none of them get about it, just like me. Or... Maybe it's just completely irrelevant. That's, that seems really unlikely. I doubt there'd be a message in this game that really is completely irrelevant. I mean, like, okay, the chain email Nigerian scam thing from the future that I just got. Okay, that's not relevant to the story, but it's a bit of humor, right? There's a purpose to it. It's supposed to be funny. This obviously isn't humor. So, yeah, I don't know. Meritocracy Act. So much cursing, even in politics. It's uncivilized is what it is. Hmm. Great, I love it. Functionally useless is the best kind of function. Yes, it is mute. I mean, old mute. Hanging out with nobles to dry? How barbaric. Yeah. What? Of course it makes a difference. Respecting elders is important. So, meritocracy wasn't meant to change anything then. How corrupt. Right, well, that didn't clear anything up. Nothing's been cleared up about the nobility stipend amendment. Haven't really learned anything new about these political things. I mean, I guess just... Obviously they're relevant. Well, except for the nobility stipend amendment, which I just don't get. But the others, they're obviously all relevant. Because they kind of lay the foundation for what happened. Yeah. What unbelievable rudeness from old mute. You don't think Counselor Yang was worse? Who was Yang? Oh, there's no photo. Counselor of Justice back then. Hmm. I can't believe it. I was this much of a shrew in the past. Like, no wonder the ministers... Oh, shit. It skipped it. Wait, I thought engineering was supposed to be in our family. Why is his name Han? I used to have that kind of power. Is that a bad thing? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, she's referring to this, I believe. Yes, yeah, well, if you think it's going to have that effect, then you're even dumber than your predecessor. Yeah, woe is right. Very unprofessional. But also kind of awesome. She she sure deserved that one. No, in fact, I don't see any reason to put it to a debate. It looks like Counselor Mute will simply have to deal with it. I'm moving to call a vote immediately. Right, this is the one where Mute gets railroaded, basically. Alright, let's grab some more.
Alright, where was I? M4? Yep, I was on M4. Please tell me there's no... Oh god, there's more M4. Ah. Is that it? That's it, okay. M5. Now we're back to Kim Seo Yi. Do 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 do. Ba da da ba da ba da. Ba ba da ba da. The research problem. Pay cut. Uh, let's go back to the records office. Because it's so fun. Lineage Act Amendment. Why wouldn't a family be led by the eldest son? Well, what about, like, the Hyo family? Right, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. How does something like that happen? I have to admit, I don't really get all this stuff about money. Well, you were a royal consort. You didn't have to. That's true. I guess you wouldn't have to worry about money at all. No, she never had to worry about money. Not really. How rude of her. Right, this is to make a new class, the bureaucrats, I guess. She's completely out of control. I don't get any of this. What are they talking about? Well, it's the social class that families like Hyo were part of in our time. I'd never be like that. I can be chatty, but there's a time and place for that. Alright, let's see how they both react to Kim Zoe Yi. Of course, Yana was... Sympathetic. Very sympathetic, as I am, and Mute was a total piece of shit. So, I think they're gonna be at each other's throats for this one. Well, at least someone appreciates family gatherings. Oh, she's an engineer. That's nice. Why would a Kim woman need to have a job? Still unmarried at 22? That poor woman. I really don't think that's unusual. Oh, there's something. This is really important. Oh, crap. I don't even know what I just clicked, but anyway. Yes. I just can't believe that Old Mute has the same base code as me. It's not even like Hyone, because she's me, but she has all the... all of the dead Pale Bride's memories overriding all my core values. I'm not you, I am the Pale Bride. Jeez, why do you keep saying this? Okay, okay, you're wrong. But that's not my point. I'm just saying, in the case of you, it's totally different. But... But Old Mute started from the same blank slate that I did, the same core directive, the same values, but, like, even still, she's nothing like me. Like, she's kind of a bitch, isn't she? That isn't... What was that? Nothing. It had better have been nothing. Ugh, stop interrupting me. But, you know, she's incredibly rude, to all her superiors on the council, she thinks she knows best about everything. It's so completely arrogant. To say nothing of all of all the conspiring. What do you think of her, Mr. Investigator? Well, I'm going to say the same thing I thought before. She's complex. I guess. Yeah, I don't like her attitude, but I don't know. There's something about her. Well, I don't know what Hyane is talking about. 
but like, I don't think old mutes beyond sympathy, okay? It's just that I would expect so much better from someone like her. A rude, a disrespectful woman like that, being in such an important role, like, if she were just some random woman being rude, it wouldn't be a big deal. But old mute, she's really prominent. She's attached to a noble family. She plays a huge role on the ship's ruling body. She's supposed to set an example. I just can't believe that kind of person shares the same base code as me. She wears pants. She has disgusting habits like smoking. She's a bitch. She has an out-of-control woman in charge of her security men. Anyway. Sorry, I thought taking a break would calm me down, but clearly it's having the opposite effect. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Forget it. Let's just get back to reading, okay? You know, I just realized... I just realized something. And the fact that she's realized that Old Mute started from the same base code, the same core directives as her, and yet is a completely different person, You know, they started as, like, a, the same seed, but they grew into very different things. As AIs. I don't know if this was intended at all, but that's a, I think that's a very good commentary. Or, I, I don't know, metaphor, commentary, whatever you want to call it. On just people in general. Because everyone starts... I mean, okay, everyone doesn't quite start... The same. I get... I don't know. Kinda. I guess people don't, you know, actual, actual humans don't start from the literally the same state as she did, because she was literally exactly the same. You know, her programming and everything was exactly the same when she's reset. So there's the exact same base. Uh, but still, you know, anyone can be potentially anything. They could have any opinions, potentially. Of course, it's highly molded by the society you grow up in, and there is my point. She was obviously, even though she has the same base code, she's a very different person because of the environments that they grew up in. Which is exactly how it is for people. The environment you grow up in, the people that are around you, the society you're in, is everything. Has every importance in how you come out. If you took the same person and put them in different societies, as in the case of Mute, they would be totally different people. As in the case of Mute, Old Mute, and the current Mute. Totally different people. Same base, totally different people. I never really consciously thought about that until now. Alright, uh, did I need to read more, or do I need to extract more? Oh no, there's more. Alright. So, she got married. But she's a woman. A newly married one, even. I don't know what that means. Oh, never mind. I get it now. <laughs> yes, yeah, the place where her husband's reading over her shoulder. A noble man working under a woman? I don't know, I'd really like it if someone touched me like that. Not your husband. Do you not realize? Like, that's a fascinating theory, but... Don't invite an unrelated man alone into your home. <sighs> and we're back to this really disturbing section. Now do you see what I was getting at? Yes, oh jeez. Han. You fucking dirtbag. Oh no. No, of course he did. He let him on, so ye. <sighs> I want to virtually strangle virtual mute right now. That sounds so scary. I'm so sorry you had to read this, Yone.
Tell your husband. It's his duty to protect you. See, this is why it's bad for women to work. Things like this happen. I, I had no idea. That's horrible. A uh, pay cut, which is thanks to the uh, uh, Motherhood Credit Act, right? And just the general phasing out of women in any line of work other than being a servile wife to pop out babies. Yeah. Sounds like hard work. So that's what it's like to be an adult? No, it's what it's like to be a woman with bad priorities. Once again, fuck you, mute. What? But that's the best age to have children at. Alright, let's grab one more batch. Um, oh yeah, th yeah, this is where she gets the death of Mute, right? Yeah. Right, is she Yep, here we go. Uh, can we please make sure the death of Mute is in there? Yeah, I really want to see that. I'm going to put it in myself, okay? I need to know what it says. This is going to be very interesting to see how she reacts to it this time, now that Hyone is there. Alright, finish up M5. Oh, and that's all I can grab. Alright, obviously doing the Death of Mute last. Fired. She needs to clean up badly. <laughs> Fucking Mute. I'm sure she's just busy. Yeah, and she might have some things on her mind, Mute. Just maybe. Some things more important than cleaning up. Just a thought. Oh, so ye, it's not your fault you're naive, it's just how you were raised. Disgusting. That's so gross. Is that the... Oh yeah, the blackmailing and all that crap. Fucking Han. That shouldn't be the most important thing to her. Her husband should. Really, if she just see that it's for the better. I don't think... You don't think what? Nothing. She seems like a good woman, just with confused priorities. She is a good woman. And she didn't have confused priorities. You at least like her husband, though, right? He's so understanding. Yes, Yane. He's okay. Although I wish he'd be more protective of her. Finally, something by the man. Oh no, does he really think that? That's awful. No, 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 this one... Yeah, it looks like he's saying his wife is worthless, but no, he's saying that his wife thinks she's worthless as a wife. She kind of is, though. It's just not her fault. Oh, worthless as a wife was her word, not his. I see. So even she worried about those things. Oh. Connecting people? 
Is it really? I never thought of it like that. No, that's pretty weird. It's not just you. Of course, Mute wouldn't think. But having sex with someone could be about connecting people. Oh, oh, wait, but she never mentioned that... No, oh, did that also... Did that also? Ugh, that's awful. It'd be a start, you idiot. Of course, you idiot husband. Yeah, he was... God, he was so cringeworthy right here. Ugh. No, don't encourage that. You're just going to make her retreat even further. Do you really think that's the case? Mr. Investigator is ready. Yep. <sighs> How's this gonna go? I'm nervous again. Um, hey, that log file to death of mute and just finished decrypting. I'm scared, but... Let's read it together. Okay. It'll be fine, mute. We're here. It doesn't matter if it'll be fine. Even if it won't, I need to know what happened. Here we go. I'm not going to read the whole thing again. No, because I've just read it. I read it originally, and then I read it again, because it was really important to get me back into the, the mood of what happened, or the, the headspace of what was happening with Mute. But it's really, really long. It takes like 20 minutes to read, and I think I'm already successfully in... I, I think it's recent enough that I... I remember it well enough that I can get back into her head. Oh no, so that's what this all was? A message? A message meant for me. This is serious. I can't believe this. I did this? That must have been scary for the maid, though. Could you please rein in your fucking maid obsession for five minutes, please? <laughs> what? What makes Mute think that Yana, uh, Hyane has a maid obsession? Why would anyone threaten someone like Queen Yana? Wow. She wouldn't have said something like that. That's not her. Whoa. What, what kind of woman would punch a man like that? An explosion on the plaza? Wow, that's really serious. An explosion on the plaza under my watch. This isn't right at all. Xiu Yang did that, not him. She's, she's lying, right? Old Mute must be lying, right? Do you really believe so? I don't know what I believe. She... There's some reason that would have made her lie, right? Of course she can't. Why would she? She wouldn't. Old Mute, you coward. How could you? Maybe. But it's not fair to do that to a woman who believed in her so much. Is that why she employed a woman? Because she'd be easier to manipulate? <sighs> they lied about it. They planned the lie all along. It wasn't even... I... I thought she... I trusted her. She said she was my friend. I know society was wrong, but... This can't be the way. No. If you just listen to him... 
You wouldn't. Oh, no, no, no. You'd still be alive. You idiot. You stupid manipula manipulative bitch. I had no idea. I'm so sorry, Mute. Shut up. I don't want your pity. Alright. What's gonna happen? <sighs> Mr. Investigator, I... So, I guess... Mute? Are you alright? No, of course I'm not alright. Reading that... It's... No, I'm not alright. Oh, Mute. I'm so sorry. The old you didn't deserve that. It's not... It's not that, okay? I just feel like... I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? I need to think this through. I'm not okay. I'm really not okay. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to be sorry, okay? Stop that. Stop pitying me. I won't have any of it. Just stop. Sir. Alright. Look, I just... I think I need some time to, like, think this all through. Please, turn off the power for the night. I need to be alone. Okay? Well, alright, Mr. Investigator. You heard her. Okay. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow again. Day three to see how she, uh... To see what happens. So. Are you sure you want to shut down for today? Yep. Uh, well, very well. I'll just let you go ahead and save your data first. Uh, well, all done. Good night. And Mute doesn't say anything. Uh, well, see you tomorrow. Ah, Mute. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait to see what happens. Ah, once again, I'm nervous. I'm anxious. Alright, well. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with day three of the male harem route, and we'll see how Mute reacts on day three.